When DJI launched the firmware update 01040000 for this, the DJI Mini 2, it has been reported pretty much worldwide and of course something I've covered on my channel in great detail, that this guy might not be picking up satellites as much as it used to or as quick as it used to and also the signal connection might not be what it once was. I performed a bit of a test putting the DJI Mini 2 against the Mavic Mini to try and test out this thing. Theory, uh, and I think the results were pretty conclusive. So if you've not seen that video, please do go check it out. But following on from that video, many of you, and it, it was actually an interesting question, have asked me whether the satellite pickup and the actual signal reception and signal quality on this drone would actually be improved by using a third-party app such as Litchi. So what I'm going to do on this video is test exactly that. What I'm going to do is a flight in the same area at the same height, leave the DJ DJI Mini 2 in dual band on Litchi and the DJI Fly app and just see how long it takes on either one to pick up satellites and of course go for a flight in the same area and see if there's any difference in signal quality or performance between the two apps. Now just to put you in the picture, this is of course my intro, um, it was an interesting test that you guys have been asking me to do. Now my own personal thoughts at this stage is that there will be no performance difference between using Litchi compared to the DJI Fly app. But of course, you guys have requested it, so here it is. Let's get into it. Right then, guys, so what I'm going to do is try Litchi first. So now the controller is turned on. I've got Litchi opened up. Everything's plugged in. So let's turn on the drone. Okay, you can hear that turn on in a sec. There we go. So I'm putting that down and that will be placed in the exact same spot for the DJI Fly app and of course I'm not moving whatsoever. So in a few seconds hopefully we'll get a video feed and I'm going to show you a setting that I'm going to check. Okay now of course with Litchi we don't get that pop up on screen to say that we've locked in the satellites but it is audible so we'll get that notification just like we do with the DJI Fly app. So let's just quickly pop into the menu while I'm waiting for that. Okay. The, home the home point, point has, has been, been set. set. Please, Please check, check it, on, it the on the map. So that was pretty quick that that actually came in and I'll obviously go back through my editor and see exactly when we first heard it. So if we go into the settings, you will see if we go into the aircraft for this test, OkiSync is in dual band and auto channel. So letting the drone completely do its thing for this area. So what I'm going to do is just take off and we're going to go for the same second we did on those previous videos and just see what happens and if the reception is any better on Litchi. But I'm not expecting it will be, but you guys have asked, so let's do it. Let's go ahead and take off. Let's Recording started. Off. So that's 30 meters. This is just about doers. There we go. It was good. I want it. Oh, we dropped a little bit in height there. Right, so let's head out forwards and commence our flight. Let's just see how we get on. And of course, it is deliberately being flown low to induce interference. This car, there we go, just passed. Don't want to fly over cars if we can help it. And of course, I am, of course, pointing the controller at the drone for the optimal signal so on a previous flight it's when we got to about this point we started to struggle i'm just going to take a left hand turn here follow the same path we did before and let's not get over these people walking because that wouldn't be good you can see it doesn't seem to be too bad at the moment But we are struggling here and you can see our video feed has actually frozen at this point and there we go we've got Warning. that uh, signal, signal, lost. signal lost so we got a little bit further than what we did last time but obviously i'm going to bring the drone back check all the settings that you've just seen us do on this one and you can see with the uh, Litchi that return to home does kick in very very quickly so let's bring the drone back land it and then what i'm going to do i'm going to do a full power down and then uh, restart and make it a completely fair test. 
Quick point, even though Return to Home kicked in, you can see looking at the map, we do have full telemetry. So that's a really nice safety feature as well. Even though we did lose video feed, we could actually still see where the drone actually was. So let's just land it and then let's do the retest with the DJI Fly app and see what happens. Right then, so we've now got the DJI Fly app open. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the DJI Mini 2. You should hear that in a sec. There we go. And that has just been placed in the exact same spot and I am stood in the same spot as well. So hopefully we'll get a video feed in a few seconds and I'll show you that we're going to be using the same settings last time. So there we go, we have picked up the satellites pretty quickly. Uh, they're still showing as orange though we haven't had the message yet. There we go. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. So again, like I said, I will check on my video editing software, but I think that's about the same sort of time. Now, if we click the three dots in the right hand corner and go across the transmission tab, you can see we're in dual band and auto, uh, which of course is what the drone has actually picked for itself. It has decided that right here, 2.4 is best for where we are. Now, of course, I do appreciate many people are going to say that it changes, but ultimately I've got to leave it up to the drone. That's the whole point of OcuSync. Okay, so it can change in flight. So what we're going to do is go ahead and take off just like we did before. Take off. Straight up. The home point meters. has been updated. Please, Please check, check it on the map. map. There we go, we're at 30 meters. And let's head out. And of course, one thing I do like about Litchi is you do actually get that uh, ability uh, to uh, auto record once you take off. DJI Fly app doesn't do that, but still, it's all good. So we're crossing that road, there's no cars. And like I said, we are flying deliberately low uh, to induce interference and be a proper test of the two. Like I say, guys, you know, I'm not expecting any difference in performance between the two, but we'll see. So again, in the same place, let's take that left turn, just like we did before. And we are getting a bit more stutter than what we did. You can see I'm still pointing the controller towards the drone. We seem to have lost video feed a little bit earlier. There we go. And we didn't fare much better there, did we? Um, I think it's coming and going. Have we still got telemetry? Yeah, we've still got telemetry, uh, but no video feed whatsoever. So ultimately, I think that was a fair test. Um, I think Litchi did a little bit better, but let's just bring this back on a return to home. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll make a little conclusion and uh, we'll sum up the results. So there we have it, that test has been completed with the DJI Mini 2 and as you can see there was pretty much no difference uh, between the apps, whether it was Litchi or DJI Fly, both of them seemed to perform about the same. Don't get me wrong, there was a little bit of a uh, range advantage to using the Litchi app, but certainly nothing that I could basically categorically say one was performing better than the other. Uh, yeah, a little bit further on the uh, Litchi app, but nothing significant. And when it comes to picking up the satellites, you can see there was pretty much the same as well. Uh, one thing to mention on that, uh, pretty much the reason why they picked up much quicker than what they have done on previous videos of mine, that's because I purposely made sure that I attend the drone on in this location previously before I attempted the official test just to speed up the process really and just to sort of hone down really on uh, make, the, make it equal uh, basically rather than trying to start the drone up completely fresh on one app rather than the other so yeah that's why I purposely did that but like I said, the drone was left in dual band on both of them, so it was up to the drone what channel it wanted to pick. And of course, the whole point of OcuSync is it can change channels within flight, so that makes that test completely fair. Of course, I was stood in the garden, same place, pointing the controller at the drone, so no difference is there. So hopefully that answers the question, is there any performance difference between using the DJI Fly app and the Litchi app when it comes to actually uh, performance in terms of what the DJI Mini 2 will deliver? Well, absolutely not, just as I predicted in the video's intro. So hopefully that answers your question, and don't forget to check out all my other content uh, that I've done. Um, if you want to learn more about what Litchi is and everything else, if you're not fully aware I've done a full playlist on Litchi which you can see using a little uh, link right on there yeah so until next time thank you very much for watching don't forget to hit that subscribe button it's really appreciated and see you again soon